So it's been such a long time since I made my last video. Um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about which I think is the best handheld in 2023. And uh, in front of me I have Switch uh, OLED version. PS Vita 2000. This is my PS Vita that I used to show every time uh, I made a video on this channel. And then, and the brand new Steam Deck that I bought. Which one do you think is the best one uh, out of these three? So let's talk about the Switch first. So the Switch, um, right now I'm playing uh, Switch Nintendo's uh, exclusives solely on this handheld. And I think uh, Smash is probably the best game to showcase um, the ability or the capability of this console. So um, as you can see, right now I'm playing a uh, 4 versus 4 match. You can tell uh, the chaos and everything in this match. Switch OLED version right now, I think, sits in a price in the middle between the three of them because uh, you can get the Vita for uh, used pretty cheap and Switch right now is around 238-ish dollars uh, MSRP but then sometimes it goes on sale so I think the, in terms of the position of the Switch uh, right now they're still uh, outselling a lot of uh, the Steam Deck users and the Vita users because um, Nintendo is still releasing AAA titles, uh, exclusive Nintendo titles on the Switch, such as the Zelda that is coming um, this month. So, uh, how do I feel about the Switch? First of all, I think the OLED version is very nice. Um, in that sense, it it is it is a very very bright screen and very colorful skin uh, screen compared to uh, maybe some something like the. Uh, Switch and the Vita, it does have an OLED screen. So for that price, I think it's, it's a pretty good deal. But um, in terms of the game performance, you can expect good performance for Switch titles, Nintendo titles, but not so much for any AAA or any third party titles. Some of them are even cloud versions, such as like Hitman and Resident Evil. So to be honest, it's, it's not really um, versatile in that sense, like you, you don't get a lot of freedom with this console. Um, what do you, what do you get is uh, you just hope that uh, your your titles will be ported to the Switch. But um, I think they're coming up with the new version of Switch soon, so it's not gonna happen for most of the games. They will just probably just port it to Steam, and then the Steam Deck might be your better bet to get all your games. But on top of that, I still think Switch has its market because it is a really good console. In that sense, uh, you can play Zelda on it, you can play Mario, all the exclusive titles. And I think for that reason, it is still worth the money that you spend on it. But other than that, I think um, in terms of ergonomics, uh, the Joy-Cons are not really nice uh, to hold. And it's also prone to uh, drifting so an analog sticks will be uh, wear out and you will eventually have to replace the joy cons and the joy cons are expensive so that is my verdict on the switch i think it is a good council if you can afford and you can still play a lot of titles but mostly just nintendo exclusives it has a kickstand in comparison to like the other two they don't have a kickstand and the new oled version has a pretty good kickstand it is like a full version like it covers the whole unit okay, instead of the really crappy one in in the OG switch which breaks off all the time so I think um, this is the uh, Pokemon version and uh, this is pretty nice I think for the price you get it's pretty nice and it's also come with the orange Joy-Con if you like orange like me the next one I have for you is the Steam Deck. So let's take a look at the Steam Deck first. 
So Steam Deck is in comparison the huge brother in terms of like the three of them. It is very powerful. It can run uh, all the AAA titles uh, you, you can expect, uh, low to medium settings. So it is very good in that sense. Uh, it also support a lot of uh, emulation, such as PS3 emulation, and which the Vita cannot do. I think what you get from Steam Deck is a whole package. It is huge, but it comes with a lot of versatility. Uh, you can use it as a PC. Um, you can use the dock and then uh, just connect it to the big screen, just like the Switch. But it also comes with a lot of really powerful hardware. So just so you know, like even a powerful PC or laptop will not be that easy to emulate PS3 games, but the Switch, the Steam Deck just handles it pretty nicely, you see? It runs pretty nice, except the sound is a little bit glitchy, but because that's just the emulator itself. But to be honest, once they iron out the, the emulator, I think PS3 emulation will go a long way, and you don't really need uh, PS3 anymore from that point on you can just play it on the Steam Deck on the go which is crazy just imagine how how big the original PS3 is and now it's just in the, in the palm of your hand so if you have a huge Steam library like me I have Elden Ring on this and uh, Hades all these games run really great and all the AAA titles run really great except for the um, battery power uh, it's just not gonna be like holding you up for like long commute it's just gonna end around two one to two hours on some AAA titles such as if you play Sonic on this it's not gonna last more than two hours for the battery so um, but it is what it is you can play Witcher 3 which is also on the Switch, but com in comparison, this is a full-fledged computer um, version, so you can always play it. And on top of that, you can also connect it to the dock. And it becomes a laptop. Um, what you need to do is just get one of these docks from JSOX, or this in this case, mine is... Uh, an official Steam Deck dock in a JSOX uh, housing. So what you want to do is just go to the power mode and just switch to desktop. This is as a Netflix machine. You can do whatever you want. So it is very very powerful in that sense. It is basically a laptop. So I have brought this to Japan for my trip uh, and I can uh, do my office work on it and it's very useful if you need a mobile camera. Um, this is a very versatile uh, laptop replacement, um, PC replacement for on-the-go computing and also for emulating, emulations. The fact that it can run uh, PS3 emulations and also switch emulation if you want to do it it is quite powerful so um, if you want one that fits all i think the steam deck is very useful especially when it costs only half as much as my gaming laptop i think everyone will be interested in this uh, for its power except for the battery life i think you should bring a power bank with you if you're going long commute and maybe like a long flight other than that the ergonomics are very nice you see i that the uh, a JSOS uh, stand for it so that it can still you know function as a kickstand and I have uh, themed it a little bit uh, with some skin which is really nice I still love my lead steam deck but let's talk about my favorite handheld of all time this is the Vita. So let me talk about the Vita a little bit in depth because uh, 
If you're not familiar with my channel, I really love my Vita. And recently, there's a new way to uh, get into the homebrew scene and jailbreak the, uh, for the Vita again. It is very powerful in that sense. You can play uh, a lot of uh, PSP titles straight from uh, the adrenaline uh, emulation. So I would take a look at uh, what I have right now in adrenaline. So if you're not familiar with uh, Adrenaline, it is a PSP uh, emulation uh, function for the Vita. Basically turns your Vita into a PSP. And uh, there are lots of titles uh, on the PSP that you can uh, run on in Adrenaline. And they all run just like the PSP without any hiccup or any issue. So I'm going to show you maybe Street Fighter Alpha Max. So in terms of control, I still think uh, the PS Vita is the best because uh, of its size. You see, it is very portable in that sense. You can, which is you know the pur whole purpose of you know using a handheld. Uh, it has a really good speaker. Like right now, I'm I'm turned all the way up so you can hear like the loudspeaker. And it also function you know really well for long commutes because the battery is much longer when running like maybe PSP titles or even PSV the titles, you can get quite long, like at least three hours uh, for a long commute. Like even though this console is close to 10 years old, I can still play really well on it. Let's play uh, Akuma maybe. So you can see like PSP games runs really well on this. And runs gorgeously. And um, I have to replace my left stick because it's, it's drifting a little bit. But uh, there is really cheap part. Ooh. Okay, so you get the gist of it. Uh, I think it just functions really well, and you can also place uh, play uh, uh, all the PS One title on it. So you can see, like I have Tristan Metal, Bloody Roar, all these PS One titles uh, in Adrenaline that it runs really well. <laughs> Huge library that you can get access to. Other than that, um. PSP, PS Vita also uh, allows you to play all the wonderful PS Vita titles. So you can tell uh, most of these are my favorite. Um, recently, I, I played a lot of uh, side, you know, side scrolling um, titles and then uh, all the shooting titles. They're really fun uh, for quick pickup and play, uh, on especially for uh, long commute. You can just uh, play like a quick quick game and then just play uh, get off your bus station or get off your train this is really good and also you know if you add a strap like this you don't really need to worry about it fell off of your hand when you're like standing and playing so it's very good and very portable see like because of you know there are twin sticks uh, shooting mechanic for this title it's very easy to control you know like look at how how easy it is to play these uh, side scrolling or like uh, shooting titles it's really fun like and it gets really addictive like especially when you're like you know commuting and nothing to do like you can just uh, you know use your Bluetooth headsets and also it supports Bluetooth originally the switch does not support Bluetooth headsets but now they open up uh, that capability after years of people owning the switch and people has to you know people have to like buy weird adapters to like open up the Bluetooth capability and now they finally support it which is very annoying ironic because like PS Vita supports that like on day one like you can come you can connect any sort of like 
uh, Bluetooth headsets to it and it just works. I don't know why. But uh, PS Vita is very useful, uh, very portable, and I think everyone should try out. Especially right now when the jail, jailbreak scene and the homebrew scene is so vibing right now. And because of how easy it is, you no longer need uh, a PC to uh, jailbreak your PS Vita. And you can just use the browser within itself to jailbreak it, which is very useful. And you can install all sorts of custom theme to it. Uh, use the custom theme um, installation app to get it, which is very useful. So that concludes my uh, verdict. I think if you are looking for a good alternative to uh, PS Vita, I would say you can consider the Steam Deck if you don't mind its size, also its price. But if you are you know, running out of budget, and you still like Nintendo games, I would say just get the Switch. But out of these three, I still think um, PS Vita is my favorite because of its size, it's so easy to handle. Like you, you can argue that the uh, Switch Lite is close to its size, but the Switch Lite is also not as, you know, it doesn't have like a huge like title, a huge dead title base compared to the PS Vita. Especially if you like PSP titles and uh, PS1 titles, you can all run them perfectly on the PS Vita. It also has a touchpad in the back, which is, you know, something that, you know, a 10 year old console still support a touchpad in the back, which is crazy. So, in terms of uh, all three, I still like my PS Vita the most. If you, uh, have your own pack uh please feel free to comment in in the comment section below and uh i hope to see you guys uh, more uh i can do more theme deck uh switch and the ps vita and uh, if you're interested in any handhelds videos in the future you can subscribe to my channel and i uh, hope you have a great day and voila.